guys, what's up? It's Soulfighter. Welcome back to the newest video. Today I'm going to be talking about my experiences as a middle schooler and everything that happened then. It's going to be cringy. Be ready. All right, so we're open to a white screen of GTA Online. I'm joining a private session right now. I'm actually on PlayStation 4 if you guys are going to be able to tell a quality difference. I actually just thought of way more videos I could do. Two people pitched this idea to me. Thank you to them for doing that. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, please go down below, hit that subscription button, as well as a little icon next to it to get all my notifications on all my upcoming videos, as well as leave a like and a comment. Now, let's get into this. I haven't played online in forever. Jobs. Jobs. We're gonna play a race, see what all we can get out of this. I started YouTube back in 2012, so I've been doing this off and on for about five years, five or six years almost. My first ever video, I wish I had it. It was just a compilation on YouTube editor of all the videos from Assassin's Creed Revelations Brotherhood, whichever one was there at the time. Aw, Killer Hawk left. That was my only guy. Oh, it probably would've helped if I confirmed settings. Oh, it says I'm out of shape. <laughs> Auto invite, all from current session, it's not gonna get anybody. Skill matched players. I have terrible skills, so hopefully we'll have terrible people. Well, now we just sit back and wait. Well, I'm getting a phone call again. Let's see who this is. So, I'm just gonna give you all the details really quick. Is that okay? No. <laughs> Alright, Elizabeth from whatever thing. Don't call me. I haven't done any rewards anything. That didn't happen at all. I'll tweet that said, WTF is a Jake Paul. Join, join, join. Maybe I should start with this many people. Oh my god. Why do all these people start with a K? Level 178. If that guy sucks at racing, there's a problem. It's just launching the session now. I guess it's as many people as it wanted. And it's a bike race. I'm not putting any money on this because I'm going to suck. What is up with that car? Dude, go. What's this car going to do? Swerve. This dude's just chilling. <laughs> Just wiggling. Is he just gonna get a nice traffic jam going here? Somebody's gotta wreck at some point, right? I see you looking at me. I don't care. Oh, now I feel like he's mocking me. You're gonna throw up the bird. Can I get this boost? Oh, I got the boost. Let's go. It's gonna be kind of hard since I have to read off my notes. Why is this dude just so fast? Why is everyone so fast? I picked the wrong bike. Okay. It's kind of weird to be talking about this in a Grand Theft Auto video, but I actually want to be a competitive Call of Duty player. There's a car. Woo! I wanted to be a competitive Call of Duty player for the longest time. I actually had a team of people in my middle school that I played with every single day. Holy cow, those people just way messed up. I'm actually doing really good. I had three friends. There was Leroy, Austin, and Tristan. Tristan's actually been in a couple of videos before. I don't think Leroy or Austin has on this channel. We made a team called Voltage. I made the logo for it back in GIMP whenever I was first starting to be a designer. So this happened about five years ago. So it was around 2012. I'm just zooming through here. Nobody is touching me. Look at everybody on the map way back there. We played every single day for like an entire summer. We did our definition of grinding, which wasn't much for a middle schooler. Plus there was a lot of yelling. We were all just angry little teenage boys. And plus the amount of times that we screeched because of our voice cracks was... Oh man, I wish I had videos from that time. This was the easiest race ever. I didn't have to do anything. I talked about my skill level. I guess it did search on skill level because people suck. G Fuel is going to be giving away some stuff to anybody that tweets hashtag phase G Fuel. So uh, I'm taking my advantage of that. Let's see if I get some free stuff. If I, if I get some free stuff, there's going to be a video about it. He just hit someone? I looked away for a split second. Austin and I actually tried to be rappers at one point. Our group name was 2C4C, which stood for Too Close for Comfort. Now if that's not two little white boys trying to be a rapper, I don't know what is. I like this race. So, of course last place would dislike it. Oh, stunt, stunt. Let's go, stunt races. Now we have to get a lot of people. Confirm settings, auto invite, from last job, all last jobs. Skill match players because everyone sucked before, so this should be fun. Now we just gotta sit and wait. Again. Ooh. I like this color. I'm just gonna use the Nero? Nero? Nero. I can't pronounce things. Why do I have a blue suit? It's okay, I'm gonna be in a car, it's not like it's gonna matter. Look, my dude just doesn't care. He's got the most, he has RBF to the max. He's just sitting there. Also, why are my eyebrows so far out? Man, I don't know what I was thinking whenever I was making this dude. Just look at him. Oh, knew it. Don't. You. Austin and I, at the time, were going to a middle school dance and we wanted to learn to rap for everyone so we could just bust out a rap as soon as we got there. We wanted to be the stars of the show. That dude just spun out. Of course, being little middle schoolers, we were searching for attention at the time. Decided to come up with the whole 2C4C thing. Learn to rap, 
Never did it in middle school. One thing that we were really good at, though, is saying we were going to do stuff and doing nothing. I kind of carried on to my high school work, too, by the sounds of it. I actually think Austin's getting married now, too. Man, I'm getting old. Now, to better picture this little white boy wanting to be a rapper, imagine this. So, I was pretty, pretty heavy set dude, probably about 60 pounds heavier than I am now. Not sure how I lost that. I got sick at one point and it kind of just went away. But I had really long hair. Man, I'm really putting myself out there to get roasted because whew, I look bad. I wore a jacket all the time, snapbacks, really long hair, the normal middle school emo phase. I don't know if you really call it emo, but I listened to a lot of weird music and everything at that time, so a white emo kid wanting to be a rapper. Middle school was not my time. It's really hoping to like wreck into people, but since I searched based on skill, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I about just went straight off. I did have an interest in music though, aside from rapping. I tried to play an instrument. I started out in sixth grade trying to play the trumpet. I actually played it all the way till freshman year when I, of course, left band and then ended up going to sing in choir and then end up going to select choir. Wow, I'm flying. There's no one back there. Like I said, middle school is a lot of ups and downs. One of the videos that I made about something that happened in middle school is gonna be popping up in the corner, as always. Hit that little card after this video if you guys wanna come back to this time, I'd really appreciate it. It was about a ski accident. And to kind of sum it up for you guys, I got into a ski accident, SWAT team, it, it was it was really different. Okay, 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 okay. I never thought that would ever work in the two. Anytime I've played this before, I've fallen straight on my back and just end up wrecking. Personal best. Oh, all right. Well, there's my skid mark from whenever that dude decided to clip me. Where you at now, man? Where you at now? I think middle school me would probably be proud of where I am today. And I never thought about that before. It just kind of popped up in my head right now. To see that I'm actually doing this and making it an effort to do what I want to do. I don't know, I guess I never thought that I'd be doing what I want to do. Maybe I haven't found a lot of success in it, but I'm doing it, and that's what makes me really happy. Successfully coming up with YouTube topics and videos for every day, and actually have the next four days covered with content, and then each... On every one of those days, I come up with something more to add. It's just kind of snowballing and I'm really liking it. Looking at my analytics and seeing the growth has been amazing. Nothing but positive. Seeing little green arrows saying I've gained views, gained watch time, gained subscribers, and gained comments as well as shares. It, just, it means a lot. So from middle school me to a high school graduate, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. If this is the first one you've watched, please give me a chance, go down below and check out some more videos. I would really appreciate it. As well as if you guys find some time and you wanna see the growth, make sure to go and if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, head to my channel, you can see the channel trailer or go to the oldest videos. You guys can see the first one I ever posted. Listen to that one and then kind of compare it to now, I almost went off again. You guys can see some growth and that makes me really happy. I'm probably gonna to react to it at some point, go back and watch that video. I haven't touched it, probably haven't touched it in about a year since I uploaded it and that was closing in on two years. In October, it's gonna be my two year anniversary of this channel. Really wish I knew when I first started uploading my first ever video. Can't wait for the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Go down below, hit that notification bell. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh.